Hi everyone. This is the first video of the series that is implementing a CRUD sample using Angular 4 to consume the GraphQL endpoint. Okay, so in this series of video, we will use Angular 14. Okay, and uh, Angular GraphQL client like Apollo Angular 3. Okay, and we are going to configure fake JSON server for GraphQL endpoint and we will implement the sample CRUD. Okay, let's jump into creating the sample Angular 14 application. And the command for creating the Angular project is ng space new space name of your project. So let's create the project. And Angular CLI asks us whether to create the routing or not. Say yes, because I am going to implement the sample using lazy load lazy loading module. Okay. And I simply select the CSS files for my styling. Our Angular project created successfully. Let me open the project in Visual Studio Code Editor. Here is my project. And if you go to package.json, you can observe the version of our Angular. Okay, it is 14. Now, what I will do, I am going to install the bootstrap into my application. Okay, so go to bootstrap.com. And if you scroll down on the home page, you can see the latest version that is 5.20 beta version. Okay, copy that command and open the terminal. Run the bootstrap installation. Okay, package is installed successfully. Let's first run our Angular application. Okay, so command is ng serve. And we can access our Angular application at port number 4200. So by default, you can see a UI like this. So what I will do, I am going to replace this static HTML and I am going to add the bootstrap navbar. For that, go to bootstrap, go to docs and go for the components and look for navbar component so here let me search for a navbar okay i want to add this blue color okay primary color let me copy this tag and in my application now let's go to app component.html and this is the static content we have seen previously so let's replace this and we add here our navbar component and inside of it let's add some container fluid container okay and the navbar brand okay and i will brand like sorry it's not a tag the class now brand and i will name my menu like in this demo i am going to do a simple crud operation on fruits so i will name it like fruits basket okay if we go to our application okay so nothing was loaded here now but remove this that is because we installed bootstrap but we haven't configured it in our angular.json file so go to angular.json file here we have to register our bootstrap css and js references okay so here in the styles array min dot css same way we have to register js file also okay so for that
min.js okay now if i go to our angular application i must see okay okay just rerun our application again and now we can see the bootstrap navbar rendering okay now for consuming the graphql endpoints normal ajax call or http client we cannot use we have to use a library for angular that is apollo angular library so you can search like angular graphql in the first results itself you can see the ang apollo iphone angular.com okay so this is the library we we are going to use to consume the graphql endpoints okay so in this introduction of the getting started go to getting started here is the command just add this run this ng add apollo angular okay copy this command and run here okay while installing uh, it is showing that it is unable to find the apollo iphone angular and it is like to install the version 3 of the apollo angular say yes and here it is expecting the graphql endpoint url till now we haven't set up our graphql endpoint right let's skip by entering by clicking the enter button and version also you can click enter okay package is installed successfully and you can see one new file is created in the app folder that is graphql.module.ts okay so let's go to that file so here you can see all the required configurations for consuming the apollo modules and services are set up in this file only thing we have to do is in this constant here empty string is there right you are a you are a we have to provide our graphql endpoint okay and this will be loaded into the app module as well i believe graphql module okay the thing is only setup required is we need to pass the url okay in the next we are going to set up the json server for graphql endpoint which is a fake one in our local machine i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off